Hello, this is the Viz Shogun Gamer from Viz.com. And we have successfully made a commercial for Viz.com, or I have actually. And we are starting a new Let's Play also. Um, Alien vs. Predator will come soon. Don't worry, I'll, and it'll be better. Nom, 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 rawr. Har, har, har. Anyway, as I was saying. Uh, Alien vs. Predator will come soon, and it'll be good. I just have to keep redoing it because, uh, well, just one episode because of one little thing. I'll tell you later. And we're gonna play Star Fox 2! Oh yeah! This game's freaking awesome. Well, sort of, but we'll, we'll talk about it later. So, as you can see, this game needs a, a staff review. I might do a staff review for it, but I'm, uh, maybe, just maybe. I'm not sure if I'm up to it, though. Depends. And if you're just curious, you know, a curious Viz user and you want to submit your videos, just put it right there in the game page. Anyway, let's get this thing started, shall we? As you can see, there's some new faces! Oh yeah, and they're both girls. I wonder, what's their names? What's their number? Who knows? Um... Actually, who are they? Shoot. Actually, holy crap, they're the first girls in Star Fox! Oh, yeah! Lucky Star Fox, man, he's getting ladies all of a sudden, isn't he? And I was beginning to think, uh, Fox was... Uh, let's customize those controls. I just skipped that scene, but anyway. Andros is alive, and he's launched an attack against Corneria. Enemy forces have salted from Andros's motherships, and carriers are heading towards Corneria. They've also built bases on several planets. Now let me just customize more controls. And are firing IBPMs at Corneria, your group is Helschel. Corneria can take some hits, but with excessive damage, we will fall. Protect Corneria and wipe out Andros's army. We're counting on you, Star Fox! So, excuse my failure British voice, but I don't give a damn. <laughs> so, Mew or Faye? Oh yeah, also I'm part British, but don't worry about that. Um, Mew or Faye? Damn. I want to play as one of them. I'm not going to play as both. And yes, yeah, so you get to choose two characters. And you can switch off between them. You can't play, the, play as them at the same time. And I don't think they help you out ever unless you just switch to them, so... Let's change our controls to the classic style. C for classic. Well, I mean, it just happened to be C. But, you know, boost for is uh, Y. No, boost is X, break is B, special is A, and blaster is Y. And controls are still inversed. So, let us play as Mew. Oh, yeah, Mew might be the beta for Cat, possibly. So. We might just do a team of Mew and Falco. And uh, look at the stats also while you're at it, you know. Everyone has uh, different stats from each other. And uh, special weapons, different items, all the such. Let us depart onto a new adventure of Star Fox 2. What in the world is this interface I'm seeing? This map, what is this? It looks like a mix between Star Fox 64 and Star Fox Super Nintendo? Hmm, very strange, very strange. So, what this is, is actually, uh, oh boy. How am I going to explain this? Okay, basically you have a tactical battle system of sorts, or, you know, you get into battles by running. It's kind of almost RPG, but not really. Like, I don't know how to put it. Strategic tactical active active tactical strategy oh, whatever let's just shoot this thing on ha 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 die oh yes you missiles are going down and I'm missing like crazy with my twin blaster especially come on come come on come on come on okay sorry shouldn't be yelling like that okay and yes that is how this game works or at least outside of uh a few other things. This is the space battle simulator. And as you can tell, it's all range mode, just like in uh, Star Fox 64. So, lots of beta. Lots and lots of beta. 
This game could have been released. It was pretty much near complete, but, you know, they were like, eh, eh, I don't know, no. <laughs> Star Fox 64 carried a lot of weight as it did. It was a very good game, so it made up for it. But the one thing about this game I'm going to say right now is it feels pretty easy so far for normal. Maybe normal is easy mode, hard is medium, and expert is hard mode. Uh, who knows? Let's keep going. See if this game gets any harder. Mmm, uh, okay. Yes, the blasters work just as they did in Star Fox 64, or just as they should, I mean. Look at that. Such pure accuracy. Oh, oh dear. I feel like an unstoppable weapon. Not only that, everyone has a different blaster charge rate. Mew and Faye seem to be very offensive players, so that's why they have, you know, their glass cannons. Low health, but high attack power. They have twin blaster and a short charge time for their charge shot. Oh, who's that? I'm Pigma of Starwolf, prepare yourself! And I forgot how Pigma's voice sounds in Star Fox 64, and even if I did remember, I might have it in my head. I just... I can't... no. I just can't. It's... uh... It's way above my voice acting skills, which is atrocious. I'm a failure voice actor. I kid you not. Oh, dear lord. Come on, just stay still and let me shoot you with my charge shot. God. Yes, you can deflect, like always. I should be deflecting too now that I think about it, so I'll be doing that at the same time. There we go. Charge shot right in the butt of your of your aircraft. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. So, this isn't too exciting for you guys, I can tell. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I'll try and be excitable without yelling into your ears. Hopefully you're not wearing earphones. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, here's here's the new gameplay you're going to be seeing. Very interesting stuff. Just wait till you see it. Okay, so we still have some time on our hands. Let's see. So this is how the game works, or this part of the game. You have a walker mode that you can enter, and you could. It's all range mode, of course, but you can literally just like. It's, this is just so ridiculous looking, but it's funny at the same time. So anyway, you always have Twin Blaster in this mode, I think. And you can, uh... It's just, it just feels different. I don't know how, how to put it, but you can jump, you could use... I don't know, I mean, there's not much to it, but it's interesting otherwise. Anyway, this part of the game, you have to find switches to get into the base. You have to fight the boss base, the base of the... No, the boss of the base which is really easy, sadly, even on like the harder modes. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Literally, I, like, you know, there's just little enemies that walk around. Sometimes there is a boss that you need to defeat to get into the base, but otherwise, this is just so simple. Like what you see here is what you get. Um, does this game get any harder? As I said, it barely. Barely. It's even on expert mode, I've, which I have tried. Very easy. Uh, why am I not doing expert mode? Because I don't know. I just just didn't feel like it. Or I just pressed normal and I did it without thinking. And I just want to get through this. So anyway, we're just gonna end the episode here. If you don't mind, I'll see you later on the next episode.